जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर शिवासरी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा आई मीन we are discussing on the beginners guide to krishna consciousness and uh, in that book we have discussed up to the kirtanam or the loud chanting of the holy name of the lord so now we will discuss about the japa which is the soft chanting of the holy name of the lord as such there is no difference between the both but still there is some something which we should know and take care while we are doing the soft chanting of the lord also let us look at some of the quotes which the prophet had to say about Yeah. Actually, all the quotes we had shown in the Kirtana part, all the holy names, holy name chanting is the Juga Dharma for all of us. Still, this chanting, it's not that we have to chant only by Kirtan, because some people they say that we are chanting, we are chanting in the Kirtan, we are doing all the time, we are chanting the holy name in our mouth while cooking, while driving, while. running while studying while doing anything we chant the holy name so is there a necessity for doing the japa yes there is a the necessity because in a simple way we can explain them that because when we want to show our love towards something then we give time for it we give a specific time for that in that way when we show our love for the holy name then we show our we give our specific time and we chant a fixed number of times also every day that's why in our parampara as said by sila prabhu par that we all at least chant 16 rounds every day 16 into 108 times every day on the japa beats so such a um, parampara that propat knew that we may deviate later so that's why he has said that we have to chant this many times even if we have become a pure devotee still we have to chant this many times because sila prabhupada would himself to do that much and will be uh, astonished to know that the guru maharaj of sila prabhupada guru maharaj of sila prabhupada bhakti sadan sarsar thakur actually he set the standard of chanting 64 rounds every day those days they would do actually being grihastha also they would do sanyasis would also do but later sila propa saw the fallen conditions of our like us uh, so propa made it to 16 actually when propa was discussing with his disciples in america before this was being said propa das said uh, so 64 rounds of chanting you have to do and follow the four regulative principles so they all like uh, we can't do proper it's not possible so then proper told okay 32 still no hari bol came then proper told 16 rounds of japa every day four regulative principles and krishna's devotional service other services so then a big hari bol came or a hari bol came at least so proper set it as 16 and uh, till the time is gone is there because it is set by silo prabhupad for this yuga then we all have to chant 16 rounds every day and that will bring us perfection because prabhupad once said in one of his uh, quotes we have read which is very famous prabhupad says that if somebody chants if actually the chanting is something uh, which is very very important in our spiritual life proper told 
that if somebody chants 16 rounds every day, if somebody follows the four regulatory principles, then I will, I guarantee that he will go back home back to work. Prabhupada guarantees. So such an important principle is this Japa in our life. Because Prabhupada himself guarantees that we will go back home back to God. And this is also, and some devotees they say that we are not able to follow for a great principle, some problems are there. Still, we should chant 16 rounds. Because the chanting will give us the strength, and by the mercy of the holy name, we'll be able to follow the four regulatory principles. So, this in that way, it is the most important principle or the first and foremost principle we should follow. Be it initiated or not, we should follow this chanting. Because by chanting the holy name only, we get strength to follow the four regulatory principles, not the other way. It may be also the other way, means both help each other. But if we say that, no, let me follow the four regulatory principles and then I'll start chanting, that will be difficult. By the taste of chanting only, we can follow the four regulatory principles. And of course, Srila Prabhupada also told that 99% of our devotional progress depends on our chanting. So it is so important. Although we tell about it so many times, but still sometimes, not sometimes, most of the times, we ourselves don't take care of our jappa. So that is so unfortunate about it. But what to do? We have to take care of our own jappa and also at the same time, inspire others to do it. Take to it. In Chaitanya Chaitamta, one beautiful verse is there. Krishna Nama Mahamantre Eta Sabhava Jai Jape Tare Krishna Upajoe Bhava. We discussed this in the Kirtanam part. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was uh, discussing with Prakasana Saraswati and he was quoting what his Guru Maharaj told. His Guru Maharaj actually told that you are a fool number one. So you just keep on chanting this mantra. Nothing else can you do. You will not be able to do anything else. Just chant this. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, Kiba Mantra, Kiba. I mean, he's saying that what kind of mantra you gave, my dear Guru Maharaj? By chanting this, I'm becoming mad. By chanting this, I'm not able to control myself. So, what kind of mantra you gave? So, then his Guru Maharaj is replying this. That this Krishna Nam Mahamantra, it is a nature of Hare Krishna Mahamantra that anyone who chants it immediately develops his loving ecstasy for Krishna. So you are feeling ecstasy and this is a glory. So Krishna Nam Jai Jope. And Prabhupada is saying anybody who chants, that is the glory of the Holy Name. And Achandali Jiva Sarse Shabare Uthar. Even if we are a Chandal, but if we take to this chanting of Holy Name, we can one day become Vaishnava. So some people they say, why should I chant? Because this chanting is the Juga Dharma. Kali Kalir Dharma Hoy Krishna Nam Sankirtan. This Krishna Nam Sankirtan, Krishna's holy names or chanting of this Hare Krishna Mahamantra is essential for everybody. At all stages, we need it because this is the Juga Dharma. In this age of Kali, to counteract the effects of the Kali and to uh, walk towards Krishna against the forces of Maya, then we need to take to this chanting. We all know that pastime of Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur, he just kept on chanting. And by his chanting, the one, uh, the prostitute who came, to allure her, allure him. He, she became inspired and she took up this chanting. She became a devotee. So this is so such a glorious uh, mantra that anybody who chants will uh, develop love for Krishna. That is what is written in this verse. Very important. Jai Jape Tare Krishna Upajaya Bhav. Whoever chants, then his love for Krishna will develop. That's why uh, sometimes we may find it difficult even to chant our fixed number of rounds. But even though it is very difficult, we should not give up our chanting. 
we should somehow or other just try to at least uh, chant this 16 rounds because Prabhupada said it for us only at 16. We, we know that sometimes offices are hectic, sometimes our services may be hectic, sometimes our health not be, may not be good, but still we should not uh, give up our chanting. We should not give up our fixed number of chanting, minimum rounds of chanting. Like you see Haridas Thakur. When Haridas Thakur was old, he was thinking, he was chanting every day, how many rounds? 192 rounds. Like it is 16 rounds into 12 is 192. 12 times of 16 rounds. Is it easy? No, not at all. It is impossible actually for us. But Haridas Thakur chanted 192 rounds and even when he was old, even when he was sick, he was trying to chant. He was completing his rounds, 192 rounds. So one time, actually every day, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would send his servant, Govinda, with Jagannath Puri Mahaprasad to Haridas Thakur's house. And he will tell that, uh, also give my blessings and regard to Haridas Thakur. Uh, so, and afternoon, Mahaprabhu will again come later. So, uh, when Mahaprasad came to Haridas Thakur's place and uh, that day Govinda saw that Haridas Thakur is not well. So, Haridas Thakur told that, tell Mahaprabhu that I am, I am a diseased boy. Means I am not able to complete my chanting. I am a very fallen person. So, then he went and conveyed this message to Mahaprabhu. Then Mahaprabhu immediately arrived there and Mahaprabhu told Haridas Thakur, you don't need to chant. You are already a pure devotee. You don't need to chant and show the world that you are a devotee. You are already a devotee. But Haridas Thakur told, no, Mahaprabhu, I have not yet developed any love for Krishna. So that's why I need to chant my rounds. You see, I'm not able to chant my fixed number of rounds. So this is my material disease. Even when he is old, even when he is facing so much of physical difficulties, still he is concerned about how he can finish his chanting, complete his chanting. Fixed number of rounds, what he is chanting every day. So this is the pure love for the holy name. That's why Haridas Thakur is awarded the title Namacharya Haridas Thakur because he is the one who has set the standard how we should take up to this chanting process. So this is important that how we should chant fixed numbers regularly. Like you, we may say Haridas Thakur only counted. No, no. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also counted. It said that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would count in his fingers. That's why you'll see in Chaitanya Jatana that is written that when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is going on the South India tour, uh, the devotees there, they suggested that Mahaprabhu, why don't you take Kala Krishna Das? Why don't you take Nityananda Prabhu with you? Why don't you take some servant with you? Mm, why don't you take Sardhavadar or somebody else with you? Mahaprabhu told, no, I, I don't want anybody. Then they would say, tell that mm, Mahaprabhu, Else, how would you keep the count of your japa? How would you carry your kamandalu and danda? Kamandalu, not danda. Danda was not there. Then. So, how would you count, uh, carry your kamandalu and your dress or other bag, although a small bag? Uh, but how do you carry and at the same time you will chant? Because Mahaprabhu would keep the count in both the hands. So, Mahaprabhu also used to chant and count his japa. Even Sada Goswami, we know in Sada Goswami Astakam, Srinivas Acharya has written Sankhya Purvaka Namagana Nativi Kala Vasani Keto. So there also it is said that Sada Goswami would chant Sankhya Purvaka Namagana. So they would chant the holy names also as per the count, specific count as Mahaprabhu ordered them. And most importantly, our very dear Silla Prabhupada and our spiritual master orders us to chant how many rounds? 16 rounds every day at least. So that's why we should follow this instruction because by following that instruction we will get some mercy. Like uh, our His Holiness Haladar Swami Maharaj tells many times that when we chant, we are not chanting to get the pure love of God. We may not get that, 
but at least we'll be able to please our spiritual master. At least our spiritual master will be happy that just see my uh, so-called, this boy, so-called girl, she chanted. He chanted 16 rounds today. So let me bless something. Bless him. Bless her. So that's how we should keep our count. And best is to chant on the beads. You see that some devotees are there and they chant on counters. But chanting on counters is a little difficult. And chanting on fingers is even more difficult because you have to concentrate so much. That's the best is to chant on beads. Those who have experience of chanting on counters and before that chanting on fingers, they can well imagine, they, they can well conclude, understand that how chanting on beads is easier. Because if we chant on beads, we don't have to focus so much on count. Our attention remains. And that's how we can chant fluently. Otherwise, half of our focus goes on keeping the count. So best is to chant on beads. And moreover, these beads are made of your tulsi or some neem which are uh, offered to Krishna. So when these beads are offered to Krishna, by we get some mercy of Krishna also. Because as a prasad, we get them. So when we touch that, we get some inner strength, spiritual strength also. So best is to chant on beads. And how to chant, we all know that. That we don't need to say. And physically, I'm saying. Um, of course, uh, this uh, there are 108 beads. You see, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that, 108. And there is a head bead. So on this head bead, we don't chant Mahamantra. Uh, we just chant. First, we chant Guru Pranams. And then we chant Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Dvaita Gada Darshi Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda. So by chanting this Panchatattva Mahamantra, we actually get the strength to chant the holy name. By chanting this Panchatattva Mahamantra, we actually get freed from all our offenses. So by getting freed from all our offenses, only we can start chanting Mahamantra. Or by getting freed from the offenses, we, the effect of chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra can be achieved. So that's why we can, we should chant this Panchatutta Mahamantra before we chant. And when we chant, we start from the bead next to the head bead and we hold the number one bead here and then we chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra once, then we pull it a little bit and then two like that. And you'll see actually in all the postures, you'll see this is the best poster I have seen in any of the books. Because uh, still it is a uh, little here. Yeah, because our nails also should not touch the wood. Because this is pure and we should not touch our nails also. So when we hold the bead, we should hold it like, like this. Okay. So when we hold the bead, we hold it. It is how we should hold it. It's a head bit. If we just carry, uh, hold it like this, and then we keep our fingers like this. It's like in side, side fashion. So then we don't put our nails like this. We put, do it side by side. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Ram. In side fashion, we do. Then our nails don't touch. And or else if we do like this, you see our nails touch. You know? Nails will touch. Isn't it? So practice like this. It is a little difficult when we start chanting like this, but over the time it will become easy. And I have actually heard that uh, on the head bead, we don't chant even. The, any other mantra. We should chant from the first bead only. And sometimes uh, we have seen that devotees chant uh, Guru Pranam after every bead, if, after every uh, round. So it is good. It is very good. But even if you are not able to do it, uh, you want to just continue with Hare Krishna, you can do that. Because once a devotee asked a question to his Holiness Bhakti Chaur Maharaj, that Maharaj, uh, uh, should we chant the uh, Guru Pranam and Prabhupada Pranam Mantra after every bead? 
so then guru master told why uh, sorry he asked after every round then uh, guru master told that why after every round you can chat a whole round also <laughs> so then he told that uh, it is not a mandate few ways you can do that or else you can uh, chat directly from the head, uh, one one number of people like this However, these are all the processes. We are not going to achieve Krishna Prem by just the following the process. We need to take the essence. The essence is we should not take, uh, do any uh, offense to the holy names. Most importantly, there are 10 offenses, which we all may know. Still, we will uh, read them out once. To blaspheme the devotees who have dedicated their lives in propagating the holy name of the Lord is first offense. Second, to consider the names of demigods like Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma to be equal to or independent of the names of Lord Vishnu. To disobey the orders of the spiritual master. To blast in Vedic scriptures or scriptures in persons to the Vedic version. To consider the glories of chanting Hare Krishna to be in imagination. To give some interpretations to the holy name of the Lord. To commit sinful activity and the strength of the holy name. To consider the chanting of Hare Krishna as one of the species ritual activity which are offered in the Vedas as Puti activity, Karma Kanda. To instruct a faithless person of the glories of the holy name, not have complete faith on the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra and to maintain material attachments, even up to understand so many instructions on this matter, it's also an offense to be united to while chanting. Every devotee who wants to be a Vaishnava must guard against his offenses in order to quickly achieve the desired success. So, as the last line says, everybody who wants to be a Vaishnava must guard against his offenses. So, this is important for us to guarding its offenses. And especially if we chant this Panchatattva Mahamantra and pray, because in this Panchatattva Mahamantra, we can get the mercy of all the Panchatattva and also other Bhakta Vrinda. By their mercy, our offenses can get freed. Still, we should also uh, take note and not uh, commit offenses, especially the offense of inattentive chanting, we can try to get rid of that. Like sometimes we, there are many kinds of ways how we should not chant. Let us see this small video. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 
राम राम कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 राम राम हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे हो रही है बेटा 
क्या बना खाया हो हो जाने दो आपको पता चल जाएगा आप वाला कर लो जब तक Hare Krishna. So there are so many ways described here, which you should not do. I know I am doing some of these, but I try to avoid. So let us all avoid this because this is not the right way we should we should chant. Hmm. Because in order to get the mercy of the holy name, we should chant attentively, and we should give our best to the chanting. If we want to read more on the books. Uh, which how we should chant on which then the best are uh, japa by purijan prabhu very nice he has given he is telling that when we are chanting we just need to focus on that holy name mm. not that i have to chant so many rounds so many times i had i have just had chanted only uh, 10 times and there is whole 16 rounds to be chanted so then we will not be able to chant or not that we have chanted all the 15 rounds then now i just have to complete somehow one round no he is telling we have to live in the present and chant just this mantra and he is telling in when we go ahead we should just focus let me just chant this one name just hare just krishna just ram like that so that is how uh, one takes to this the more importance we give to the chanting of the holy name the more krishna will reveal to us i have heard from everybody but i don't implement still one day i'll uh, implement it then another point here is uh, that when we chant it's it's being written in the book also that we we should give more qual uh, focus on the quantity eh, sorry quality than the quantity or speed because when we chant uh, when we are chanting less actually my uh, senior guide and devotee uh, who was guiding me in kolkata he actually suggested me that till the time we chant 16 rounds we can focus on the quantity let us just read 16 rounds and after we read 16 rounds we can focus on quality that time we should increase our quality from then onwards because we cannot increase the time so much so at least when we are chanting one round let us make it two then four then eight then 10 12 14 16 after we read 16 then we should focus on quality only not only quantity that time so um, uh, but of course when we start if we have learned the right technique we will not make mistake when we learn when we go also to 16 so the technique also should be good that's why when we are chanting our speed should be maintained within 5.5 to 8, 8 minutes if we are chanting so slow then we may fall asleep and if we are chanting so fast then we may skip some names the so best is to chant within this limit or try to chant uh, in which we can hear all our names which we are chanting all the names which we are chanting the prabhupa japa part which it was shown how to how not to chant that means he is just hearing prabhupa japa he is not chanting himself but we need to chant ourselves also and uh, another uh, video this uh, bombay devotees they uh, made They saw that japa bag should also be kept clean. That actually uh, puts our consciousness into positivity. If our japa bags are clean, then we can chant better. And that's why japa bags are not taken into toilet. And as Sri Lanka says, our ninety-nine percent of our progress in spiritual life depends on chanting. So let us all chant uh, and pray. That oh Sri Radha, oh Sri Krishna, oh Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, please engage me in your service. Sri Lakshmi ki jai, Sri Sri Panchatattva ki jai, Gaur Bhakta Vinda ki jai, Gaur Pramanandi ki jai.
so sorry it uh, became a little late if you want if you want to add something or comment then please add now prabhu ji chaitanya aap prabhu ji chanting kartile ha i written the hari krishna kirtan to jan dave basi ki gani gani ki chanting karche sem dose ki chanting karandi चल चली करती सब महाप्रभु तो बहुत बैग प्रभु जी जदि जो यूट्यूब रोटे मान कृष्ण का भजन कि वैष्णव भजन देखि देखि चैंटिंग करवा ताले कौन से ठीक हो बेटर न करबा सेंती कारण आमे जे तोळु चैंटिंग करछ आमे होली नेम सुनिबा ऊपर फोकस करिवा कथा ना जदि आमे आउ किछि देखिबा टीवी कि वीडियो किछि ताले आमे अटेंशन ता ता ऊपर जीव अटेंशन ता होली नेम ऊपर दवा पई सेते आमे चैंटिंग ऊपर केन अटेंशन दवा सेटा कोशिश करिया तो किछि फोटो रखता है किछि ता हम सेते बेले भगवान को ऊपर रहिबो किबा जो गुरुदेव को ऊपर रहिबो ताले बे सेते हबनी ना फोटो रख परिबा हम गुरुदेव को फोटो प्रभु दो फोटो हम डिटेल्स को लवेबल डिटेल्स को फोटो रखि कि चैट कर किंतु वीडियो ऑन कर देले कोन ना माने अटेंशन टू सो तो जे मु सकाल जो जप कर छी मु से बाम भगवान के फोटो सु देखि देखि चन जो जप कर छी ता से मन मन सु डाइवर्ट हे जीवन जदि हम को जीवन दर्शन कर जप कर हां दर्शन करी करी हो दर्शन करी करी हां किंतु होली नेम सुनि जे दनो तो यस प्रभु जी कार चलाल को ड्राइविंग करवा को जप करि परबो ना ना देखि लेले बे नाही सब उठे मनाय 